Hello everybody. Welcome back again to the Klaus Restoration Crafts and Restore show. Sometimes the restore ain't all time no more. We're good to see you back. And uh, we got a good show for you today. Today's show is going to be about a uh, PVC pipe threader. Uh, one, I believe it's one half all the way up to three fourth. PVC pipe, not metal. Yeah, they make them. And uh, that way you won't have to glue pipes together. You can put threads on them, screw pieces on, screw the couplings on. And uh, we hope you like it. A PVC pipe threader. Man, imagine the money you're going to save on those screw-on couplings. Because you can put threads on the end of your pipe, screw them on. Man, they'll hold on better. Won't blow out so easy, too. Man, if I had some water, I actually do have some water. Farmer irrigates his corn patch. But i got to stay uh, stay away from it when he's uh, got that water turned on. he get me a share. I have to go buy some soap. Uh, one of those bath things you put on your head, that plastic one. Scrub brush. And I just enjoy myself cleaning up them feathers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you tell me that. Yeah, I need that one of them things too. I was running some water about a week ago. Put some pipe threader on it, threaded it up, glued everything together, blowed apart like a blow apart thing, blowing apart and blow apart season. Man, that thing with water all over the place. I looked like a, a wet monkey, because I was a wet monkey. Are you telling me? Sometimes that, this corn patch gets so wet, I gotta wring out the water out of the corn stalks. Man, he's ruining that corn. I gotta wait, uh, then I tried to heat it up with a hair dryer, started popping. Man, I was covering popcorn all over the place. Man, you should have seen it. Man, that popcorn everywhere. I didn't even have no TV to watch no movie. Didn't have no butter, no salt. Man, it was, it was horrible. Yeah, you're te Action. Action! Yeah, you're telling me. I tried to dry off with a hair dryer. I accidentally overheated it. Laid it down to cool off on a piece of paper. Paper caught on fire. House went up like a stack of dry kindling. Only thing I could do is break out the marshmallows and roast them. At least I had something to eat while I was watching my house burn down. <laughs> Man, you got it worse off than I did. Man, when that popcorn, I just shoveled it up, get it out of here, sold it to the local theater. Man, I was done with it. Yeah, you're telling me. I had to build me back a new house. Build it out of bamboo sticks. Neener leaves, all sorts of stuff. Mud, man, I built me a total mansion. Man, I was glad that place went up. I thought, man, my house, my house. But after it was gone already, man, good riddance. Only this place smelled like funky barbecue and burnt bananas. <laughs> what are you telling me? You know what you can do with burnt bananas? Put peanut butter on them. Smorgasbord those bitches up. And you telling me? Whether you get fat on that stuff. If you got a girlfriend, keep her away from it. Ain't like nobody wants no damn fat chick as a girlfriend. Nobody. Unless you got no choice. And then it's one of those have-to cases because you're too damn ugly as a man. Or maybe you're fat yourself and you can't get a good-looking girl, so you settle for a fat one. Man, mm, I don't settle. I don't. I'm good-looking. I don't. <laughs> I'm good-looking. I don't have to settle. Man, I got girls crawling all over me. Man, the only way a woman's going to crawl all over you if you tape $100 bills to yourself. Wait, you ain't got, You ain't got me no $100 bills. I got some uh, pocket change. I'll tape it to my fur. The girls come running. Buy bananas. They're like, oh, look at that monkey. He's so handsome. His wallet's so handsome. His wallet, his bank account's so good looking. That's what they'll say. Well, anyway... I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Me and the crow. I always say that. Get used to it. You don't like it. Screw! Good grief. Monkey, don't scream like that. It scared the hell out of me. I almost died behind the corn patch. Yeah, I was acting like a woman. Screaming. Ah, look at me, I'm a woman. Ah. I think I've thrown out my larynx on that one. Time for the joke. <coughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know how the hell women can do it. I almost wrecked my neck. Hey, uh, Crow, before I forget, you know why? Uh, hey, Crow, you know what? <laughs> you know what I, I was doing the uh, day before yesterday? I went, uh, you gonna say, what was you doing the day before yesterday? <laughs> yeah, I will say, what was you doing yesterday? What was you doing yesterday, monkey? 
I went and bought some Coke, a whole 12 pack, 1.5 liters. And there was a girl there. I asked the boy to help her pick it up. And I told her, why don't, so why don't you pick it up? She said, because I ain't strong enough to pick it up. I need a man. I told her, why don't you pick it up with your jaws? Your jaw muscles are strong enough with all that nagging you do all the time. <laughs> yeah, you tell me about it. I bought me some earplugs. Start that nagging and bitching. Man, shut them off, baby. Shut them off. Well, we got a lot of critics in the background over there. I'm going to have her and tell a joke. Well, here is the joke, like it or not. I don't like it. Here's a joke. Why? Wait a minute. I'm going to tell a different one. Why did the chef buy more fish? Because his fish left the refrigerator with suitcases. <laughs> well, that's the end of it, guys. That crow is a shut up over there. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Enjoy the show, and we'll see you later. On the channel I mentioned at the beginning, and you saying that twice. It's crazy. Say it once. Go back to the beginning and listen to it if you missed it. Or look down in the title section. And we'll see you later, and goodbye. Goodbye, people. See y'all next time. This is a PVC pipe thread cutter. Cuts threads on PVC pipes. I will show you in just a moment how that's done. It comes in three different sizes. One half, three fourth, and one inch. It's wrote on it, one inch. It's wrote on here. One half, it's wrote on here, three fourth. So you know the size. These here drop down in here according to what you're using. These here drop down in here. They have two indentions on them. And the way you know that you're turning it in the right direction, the three the writing will be facing up. But well, you also notice if it if it don't have writing on it. The top part, you will also notice if it don't have writing on it, the top part leans in. The bottom part does not. So it does have writing on it, then face the part that's leaning in down on your pipe. Because that is the part that will be free so it can slide down on the pipe. Make sure these two indentions line up with these screws here. Tighten these up. And you're ready to go. Then all you have to do is put the threads on your pipe and take it back off as you're ready to go. This here costs around five dollars including shipping and handling. These here cost around five dollars including shipping and handling. These will also fit in another tap and die set if this happens to break, which I hope it don't. So if you are in the mood, so if you want to put threads on a PVC pipe, then buy one of these. It's very worth the money. I've used this three times already. And now we'll go to the video so you can see how this is being used. See you over there in a moment. I'm doing a project now where I need to turn a three-fourth pipe into a one-half. I've got this that come off of another project that I've done. Keep on my pipe. See, when I cut them, they're already glued. I keep them. This one will screw into this one-half here real good. But I don't have one. But I don't have an adapter or anything that will screw into this three-fourth. So I'm going to thread into this three-fourth pipe. So I can screw it in here. Metal on PVC, it works. Nobody says it don't. Fucked up. Okay, what you do to what I do. If you want to do it different, do it different. I'm just gonna spray this side. It's a little bit, let's see, it's a little bit crooked. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clamp it up on the vise. 
It's gonna have water running through it, so I don't want to clamp it so tight I'll break it. Use these fake ass pipe. So I got the PVC threader. This is pretty much like any other threader that you buy. This was made for PVC pipe. I already got it in here, got it installed. Now you know which side to put facing down because the side that starts the the side that starts the cut is always gonna lean to it. The other side straight up and down. So you know if you're lean, it's not here, then it's upside down. So just line it up. Don't start holding it like this. Just line it up like this first. Make sure it grabs and it's straight. And slowly turn it. Slowly turn it. It's leaning. Leaning. Slowly turn it. Still leaning. It's already started to cut. Slowly turn it. Until it gets a good grab on it. And after it gets a good grab, then uh, see Get it good and going. Back it up a little. Go on, back it up a little. Get these little pieces out of there. Just crank it on around. Slow and easy. It's not a race. Not racing anybody. Put one of these on and it's pressing your pipe to no end. It's too small, change it. The good part about these metal things, if this plastic thing ever breaks, I've got some tack and die sets that these are put in. So I always have something to turn it with. So I'm going to take it just down because the threads in this metal are not that deep. So I'm just going to take it down to the top part of this and then I'll back it back off. And it's already down good. So I'm going to back it back off. Pieces off of here. Got some extra little pieces down, still stuck down in here. It don't matter, it'll come out. Then take this part here and screw it on. There we go. Screw it on. It's on. I also did that say. And there you go. Make your own threads for stuff. And also to insert a, uh, if you want to insert another piece of pipe in here and you don't have a coupling, you can heat this and then use the other same size piece of pipe to insert in there. And then when it starts pulling down, pull it back out. That'll be a video for another time. Just stay tuned and you may see it soon. Now I can take this, put a little bit of threading stuff on it and use it. Bada bing, bada bang. Both sides work. Thanks for watching. Come again to the Fast Restoration and Crafts channel. Reviews, everything. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned next time. Thanks for watching. The Klaus Crafts Reviews and Restore channel. I'll come back again next time for some more useful tips and more useful tools that you can buy and use yourself, very affordable, easy. Save your time and money on things that you don't need to buy. Make your money.